Now we're going to cover a tool called QFlipper. QFlipper is a graphical desktop application for updating the Flipper Zero firmware. Uh, Flipper Zero is a portable multi-tool for pen testers. Uh, so essentially it will allow you to uh, copy and rebroadcast signals. So now we're going to take a quick look at uh, the Flipper Zero. So we've actually added within the, the SIGINT hardware programming the QFlipper application. This is the application that can be run on a, a PC or computer. There's also a secondary application that can also be run on uh, Android devices as well. So effectively it uh, gives you some of the same capabilities. So right now we're going to go ahead and run it. I do have my Flipper Zero plugged in. I'll go ahead and cancel for now on this one. So since it is plugged in, now I need to plug it in through the virtual machine. It's so going to USB, Flipper Devices, and now we see the Flipper. So if there were some updates on the, the Flipper Zero site, it would allow me to update it right then and there, which is good. It's also telling us what the device is, so if we did need to communicate it through some other uh, means or mechanisms, it's the TTY ACM0. Uh, of course, we have the firmware date, we have uh, settings information on what kind of updates that we want to look at. Uh, right now, we're just looking at the release. Uh, you can have release candidates. This is kind of like beta testing. Um, some potential bugs and developments probably going to have a few more bugs. Then we also have the ability to back up and restore these. So it's always a good idea to back up whatever the firmware is, especially if you do plan on updating anytime soon. So I'm just going to do dash one, making it easier to, um, to memorize. So here you want us to pick a directory. Okay, so choose that directory, choose. And now it should be backed up. So it's going to take just a minute. Hit continue. So now we have a, basically a backup file if we do need to restore it. Then, of course, these are the files on the device. So, for example, with SD card, we do have some in infrared already. So, made a couple copies of some remotes. But all the content that you're looking at that you've been able to uh, uh, essentially record um, is going to be stored in uh, little files uh, that the flipper can uh, uh, use. So with that being said, I'm going to go back to here. Let's go and double left click on the screen for flipper. Now it's giving us access to essentially remote control the device. With the Android application, it's working on Bluetooth, so you can have a little bit uh, bigger distance to play with. Um, this does require, again, the USB-C. Uh, you might be able to, again, hack around that uh, um, through other mechanisms. But um, let's say if you have a six-foot USB-C cable, then you can put that closer to the devices that you want to, uh, to control uh, or copy. So right now I'm going to go into... In the right side, that's going to give me my passport. Go back, click on the center button, and then that's going to give you access to all of the uh, the items that are inside the um, capabilities. So, for example, if you wanted to copy HIDs, you have the 125K um, NFC, same basics. So, the nice part about this is this does give you some capability, especially if this uh, physical pad on the Flipper Zero does get damaged. Uh, you can still again control the device. But outside that, in a nutshell, uh, you can now control Flipper Zero.